Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to use the table to evaluate each expression, where we have f and g of x for different values. So for part a, we have f of g of 1. So f of g of 1, the first step is to find g of 1. Right? We find what's inside and then we work our way outwards. So f of g of 1, g of 1, we go here, is 6. So this is equivalent to f is equal to 6. And now we go all the way to 6 to see what f of 6 is, and we get 5. And now we continue. g of f of 1. This is the reverse. We start with f of 1, which we can find as 3. And therefore, this is g of 3. g of 3 going down in the table is 2. Next, we have f of f of 1 f of 1, we just found, was equal to 3. So this is f of 3, which we can find is equal to 4. d, we have g of g of 1. g of 1, right there, is 6. So this is g of 6. And we can find g of 6 itself by going down and seeing that it's equal to 3. Next, we have slightly different notation, the composition g of f of 3, which is just equal to g of f of 3. And looking here, f of 3 itself is 4, so this is g of 4. g of 4 is 1. Similar thing here, f of g of 6 can be written the same way as the other ones, f of g of 6 g of 6 is 3, so this is f of 3, and f of 3 is 4. 